Oh, it's another golden generation. Maybe. I mean, we've been blessed with them so far, so... I guess I'm very lucky that I randomly picked Southampton, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, it's another potential to be a golden generation. Our youth intake. And uh, yeah, let's roll the intro and get into the game. Welcome back, friends. Are you crazy here? The Viking of them all, the best Viking in the world, or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, welcome back to another Danish Dynamite episode. And uh, yeah, I figured out why the whole Champions League thing was a bit weird. It was because, well, as you can see here, we played loads of friendlies. Basically, uh, this happened. Let's see. It was, of course, 2022. So yeah, the World Cup happened, which was in Qatar, and that what made everything a bit weird. And as you can see, France actually won that. But yeah, it made everything a little bit strange. And uh, of course, we had a big period where we didn't play at all. So I just played loads of friendlies <coughs> because why not? Uh, sadly, one of the reasons I said that is because if you see all the groups, let's see. Where is Denmark? Where is Denmark? Where is Denmark? Where is Denmark? Oh, Denmark is not there. So uh, yeah, none of my players were <laughs> at the World Cup, sadly. So I just played lots of friendlies versus all the big teams, which would then play all their youngsters because, well, their players were off to the World Cup. No, it was pretty fun, but... We earned lots of money, at least, in gate receipts and all sorts, so that was fun. But yeah, that also meant that uh, the whole Champions League draw was a bit strange, and it just happened out and over in the middle of the break, where I just sat there for what feels like hours and hours and hours and hours, pressing continue, pressing continue, and uh, yeah. So this is the draw for the Champions League. We got Atletico Madrid, which is definitely not going to be easy, but eh, you never know. They're a bit of a weird team. I just noticed they still have Joao Felix. That's strange. Um, yeah, I mean, you you never know, so um, we'll play that at some point, but other than that, I mean, we did play a little bit. Where Where is the match? So we last met at PSG, right? We then, of course, drew versus Aston Villa because, you know, Aston Villa are OP, that's, that's a given. Then we went on to all these weird friendlies. Uh, we came back, we actually beat Chelsea, which was a bit of a strange one, um, smashed uh, uh, Sheffield Wednesday in the cup, and then we recently just beat West Brom 4-2, which was another nail-biter, I would say, uh, but... Um, yeah, but today we have some pretty tricky ties. Ooh, that was difficult to tell. I definitely didn't clip that eight times because I couldn't say tricky ties. No, 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 don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, we play United and I think we're going to play the Arsenal one as well because let's not, uh, let's, like, why not kind of thing um, as I'm losing the will to speak, apparently. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the status in the league is, uh, it's all right, it's all right. <coughs> uh, losses, we've lost us. Newcastle, of course, Rex, so uh, it's a bit of a strange one. I mean, we are third right now. City can definitely overtake us, but yeah, it's a bit weird with all the fixtures, actually. But yeah, let's just get into the Manchester United match. Actually, before that, uh, there's something I almost forgot to say. Uh, we sold Mr. Joachim Mele, our right back. We sold him to China. They were very interested in signing him. So uh, yeah, 33, potentials of 38. I mean, why not? I didn't intend to necessarily sell him, but people were bidding on him. I was like, meh, why not? So that leaves us with quite the gamble because our youngster, 16-year-old Leonard Jensen, is now going to be the first, first choice right back. Um, let's just see how it goes, right? Uh, he has been playing loads, so he, um, he's not he's not doing too badly. But uh, yeah, he, you can tell he needs to develop a little bit more, right? But uh, yeah, let's just get stuck in and do that right away. And uh, next to him is going to be Christensen and Nelson and Paulson, which is pretty much standard at the back. Hoybia and Delaney. Delaney has a bid on him, actually from Atletico Madrid, so I'm probably just going to sell him as well. Who else? Oh, this is probably a lone one. Yeah. There's lots of interest in many of my players, but um, yeah. Delaney, Hoybia in the middle, Unlarsen, Eriksson, Damsko, and Pulse, not fun. Again, this is United. Uh, strongest on paper, at least. And uh, let's, let's, let's just beat them, right? Right, and it's kickoff time! And as you can see, United, uh, well, they've enabled the cheat code. They have bought Erling Haaland for only, ah, okay, 102 potential, but uh, yeah, 10 goals in 13 matches. Not too shabby, not too shabby, but that's, you know, we all know that it's cheating. And of course, they have one of my favorite players, like at Luis Alberto, right behind him, just feeding him with his 20 flair. I mean, this guy is just a god. He's 30 years old, but yeah, I mean, he's so good. 
That actually means Mr. Bruno Fernandez is bloody on the bench. That's a bit strange. But, yeah. Let's hope that's somehow an advantage to us. Uh, I'm not counting on anything, but uh, so far it seems we're dominating. Can we finally get to see a little bit of a highlight here, maybe? I'm, of course, slightly worried because we start off with the ball, so that usually means we're going to get countered upon. But a good ball from Delaney to Polsicon. Oh, no, you need to be scoring those, Mr. Brun Larsen. That is not, not good. And now United with a corner. Polson clears it, kind of. Martinez Cuarta has the ball. That was uh, very, very, very promising there. But, um, I mean, we keep pressuring them further back, further back. But we're also being stretched a little now. It's a pizza with loads of room and Holland scores. Is it offside? Yeah, it is offside. I mean, it also looked offside, but I could see the dude waving his... Well, like he did, didn't care. <coughs> yeah. Goal disallowed. I mean, we don't need to see it again. I, I, we, everyone could see that a mile from mile away. So, uh, okay, now it's our turn. Come on, Boon Larsen. Okay, you're getting closer at least. You're getting closer, but mm. okay, half time already. That was a bit of a strange half. I mean, stats again. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm not happy, and then I'm gonna. You weren't that bad. I have faith and stuff like that. Yes. Uh, we are apparently dominating again, like, oh, it's, it's becoming a theme, in it? Of course, we need to actually turn those, I mean, first of all, we haven't really seen any real highlights, but maybe one here, Eriksson is now going to drive it forward. We are on the counter pulse, and he has a lot to do from there, all alone. I mean, that was poor. That was just, ugh. But, I mean, it counts in the stats, but do we care about that? We do when they eventually score and we lose, even though we are... Apparently dominating. Come on, Hola. Yeah, he usually doesn't miss from there, but... Right, well, 65 minutes gone. It's been pretty boring, actually. And, uh, yeah, my players are starting to get really, really inaccurate. Dump scores, 6.4. That's not good enough. Let's get... Actually, let's get the Rami up there. How is Boon Larsen? He's honestly playing like crap as well. And that's good Scott player. Can we change the right back? Actually, we can. And he's also nervous, and he's... Knacker. Let's just do a triple change right now. And, of course, immediately they have a chance, do they? It was Jakobsen, our new, our also, like, regen superstar on the right back. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit tense, isn't it? It's just because of the uh, changes. Uh, Jakobsen there actually just nips off the ball from Holland. Holland's not going to like that. Nelson now drives it forward. Free play, okay. Look for the overlap there. Someone just... Oh, okay, Ericsson. Ericsson! Oh, that was poor. It was a great pass to Ericsson, but then he just... Eh. I mean, I guess it was kind of to his wrong foot, right? But he then shot with his right anyways, and it was like... <sighs> right, is this where we just fail miserably and throw the ball away? Well... Oh, and Holland now has it. Okay, Greenwood, tackle him. You can do it. Okay, Luis Alberto, of course. They have some amazing... They still have John Van de Beek or whatever. Oh, and Bruno Fernandes is now on the field. Yeah, just shoot from there. They would sell a chip. I mean. Okay, oh, I've, I'm completely forgetting all these, aren't I? Okay, let's go with the free kick. Woo! De Gea with the save. And now let's go with the corner, of course. It's not going to materialize anything. Just... Okay, someone shoot from there or something. Delaney, are you going to do scissors things? No. Nothing. Literally nothing. Okay, let's encourage the last for the last few minutes. I mean, yeah, United, as you can see there, they are bloody top of the league. That, ah, I'm going to say you're unlucky. I'm not going to berate them too much. Uh, snatching as chances, sure. Oh, I accidentally clicked continue. Let's, let's see what, what it leaves us. I mean, United were top of the league, but there, we're only three points clear. And, ah, a bit of an annoying one, right? <clears throat> we, ah, 50-50 possession. We had more shots, but they were pretty drab and boring, to be honest. So I guess it's a fair result. Anyways, three days' time with Arsenal. Let's do that. Fast forward. <clears throat> oh, and here we go. Mr. Thomas Delaney is going to 
sign for Atletico Madrid, which is pretty funny because we were meeting them in the Champions League. But uh, yeah, 26 million. I mean, he wants to leave anyways. And they, I, I, I didn't offer him out or anything. They just kind of, I, I tried that in the summer, remember, but no one was really interested in paying. But and Atletico Madrid just randomly came in from this. Uh, oh, let's let's do a parting comment. Been fantastic. It's been a great time here. Uh, it helped me improve my game. And uh, yeah, all sorts. So uh, yeah, Mr. Delaney's out, which is uh, it's probably not going to be good for the old team uh, squad thingy majiggy but uh yeah oh well right and it is now arsenal time in the carabao cup quarterfinal i believe and uh yeah of course uh mr delaney has left so now Narty's gonna play and also our well right back our youngster right back is gone himself suspended so we're just gonna play the other youngster right back which is Arguably, probably a little better, but uh, in, in terms of potential, right? But <clears throat> I don't know. I I kind of like the 16 tackling on this guy, and um, yeah, very low determination on Mr. Jensen. So it might actually be a, a bit of a blessing in disguise that Andreas Jakobsen here is uh, gonna play. He has 15 determination at least, which is good in terms of reaching his ability uh, potential and stuff. And uh, but yeah, and uh, also I forgot to say something else that. Kasper Schmeichel is also Kasper Schmeichel is joining Krasnodar. Um, when is he doing that? 29th of January. So uh, yeah, we're off with him. I mean, he's on a massive wage. He was starting to whine, and yeah, <coughs> I don't really have problems with the registration any longer because uh, all my players are now young enough, so I can just register whoever. And um, so I don't really need the fact that he's an English. He in theory is English, uh, but so there's that. Philip Billing is also going to leave. He's also going to join him in the Russian league just for different teams. Uh, well, hopefully if he accepts the contract. So uh, we're just selling lots of players. That's basically our transfer windows. And yeah, yeah, it's fun. Um, but yeah, it's going to be the same squad. I, I, I want to smash Arsenal. So the same squad with the, with the exception of those two changes. Yeah, we owe Arsenal. We definitely do. Because remember, they absolutely... Ooh, they they smacked me the last time I met them in the league, that is. And this is the cup, of course. Are they playing the strongest? They're not playing the strongest. They are playing some good players out there. Um, but, yeah. They have Aubameyang. And, oh, they're actually not even playing. Well, that's good. What they're not doing is they're not playing the 4-2-2-2, two, 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 which absolutely wrecked me. It's, of course, Bielsa is now the manager of Arsenal, and he just destroyed me. This one, they're playing a more... Standard 4-3-3 kind of formation. So maybe that's a good thing. But yeah, we shall see. I mean, we're playing almost pretty straightforward. Oh, I guess I forgot to mention that I put Benjamin Jensen in instead of uh, Christian Eriksen in the AMC role. Basically, Eriksen was just proper knackered. So may as well give him some game time. Our <laughs> I'm getting tired of saying this, but our wonder could potential guy. I mean, they, all, they pretty much all are, right? And that is what we need to do. Give them some game time. Okay, Poon Larsen now. Are you going to cross it? Nice cross. Poulsen! <laughs> Actually scored a goal. I can't remember when we last did that. Okay, let's see it again. So Jakobsen is involved. which is always on yellow. But then Narty to Poon Larsen. And then just a nice little cross. See, Poon Larsen, this is how you head her. Remember how he missed those two versus United. Yeah, let's take a look at Mr. Benjamin Jensen. Who just looks... Phenomenal. He's two and a half star current ability, it says. Wow. He is going to be amazing. Of course, the problem is that oh, one day people are going to start bidding on him and he's going to I want to leave for a bigger club. It's like, what? You can't. We have a good thing going on here. So, yeah, I'm, that's going to be the problem trying to keep our hold of these players. Oh, is it going to be Penn? I mean, oh. Uh, that looked a bit strange, but yeah. Another highlight, perhaps, before the halftime. It's been pretty boring once again. So it's a good thing I've been talking all sorts of weird things because the matches I've been showing have been really boring. I was going to say Andreas Poulsen has picked up a bit of a knock, but let's just wait until halftime. What was that? Yeah, it was... Oh, no. And it, Milk is going to drive it forward. No, good defending. Uh, okay. <laughs> good defending first. And then he just fucking hacks him down. Oh, you got to love it. Uh, let's see what Andreas Poulsen is up to. Uh, don't get complacent, sure. I'm just going to say I'm happy. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, let's see the tactics. What is up with Mr. Andreas Poulsen? Wants to stay but injured, and it's a foot injury. That's that's usually not good for football players. Right, well, second half is underway, and they put Enkitie on. He scored, I like, uh, he scored quite a lot uh, the first time we met, like when they wrecked me. I remember that. 
4222 or whatever it's called. Okay, we're gonna get to that. Jensen, go on. That is a strange ball, but it was all planned, and Damsko gets it. La, 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 la. Definitely planned from Jensen there. That was his uh, true potential shining through, just passing it off the Arsenal defender. Let's see this again. It was good, good play from Punlas to win the ball there. And then it's a strange ball, but uh, it was all calculated. Of course, Aya, who was also a Viking, so uh, it was it was maybe planned. Maybe we did bribe them or something. But why are we seeing it again? Who knows? Of course, they actually have quite a few. We have Kulusevsky, who is just a beast, right? The Swedish dude. Uh, Aya, Unason, Icelandic goalkeeper. They have quite the Viking squad themselves. Uh, oof, that went close. Bit of out of nowhere. Another potential highlight. Don't do this to me. That is very stressful. Uh, he was very isolated there. I mean, he did win the ball, but yeah, there wasn't really anyone to head it to. Oh, and they were cocked it up again. It was all planned. I mean, that was rubbish. <coughs> right, well, how much is left? Like 20 minutes or so. Let's do some more changes because we are knackered, as you can tell. Narty is really tired. Um, let's get Mr. Chukwani on because why not? Which is usually the best reason. Uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that for now. Throw in from Scout on the left uh, to Chukwani. He's in. And Paul Larson, he hits it wide again. Let's make the last change now. What should we do? I mean, Hoybia is really struggling. Uh, yeah, and he's also pretty knackered. Let's just get Beeling on. Probably for his last match for the team. Right, Arsenal are now trying to actually play some football, which, you know. I guess they are allowed to. Maitland Niles now with a strange cross there, but um, we do we deal with this? This is looking like okay, Paulson. Yeah. Okay, he's very isolated with Damsko now. Figgins him. Okay. Okay, we're pushed so far up, meaning we cannot just pass it to them. That would be very very foolish, wouldn't it? <sighs> this is so frustrating, isn't it? Focus. Okay, we didn't even see it, so. Skip the highlight. Uh, we're trying to counter, pushing everyone forward, and then it's like, eh. oh no, is there going to be another highlight just before? Come on, don't. I just don't, I don't want extra time. Dump score. Drive it forward. Just don't. Why are we doing this? Okay. Oh, uh, the amount of emotion. Just shoot. I don't care. Shoot. Okay, good, good. Well. Oh no, that's not good. Now we have a corner. Don't. Okay, let's just go balance. It's not going to change anything. Uh, what's that? <laughs> That's, is it going to count? That was the weirdest goal. It surely wraps it up. Okay, let's see this again. That was a bit strange. So the corner is some sort of specialty. I'm not sure. Aubameyang with a great tackle. <laughs> with the toe towards Nelson, our central defender. Who, uh, who knows what that was. Uh, another highlight straight off the bat. I mean... Like I said, I just don't want... I don't even care if we go through, but I just don't want extra time. Our players are already knackered. Now Thomas scores. Of course he does. Thomas the engine or whatever. The train or... Can we just focus? Skip. Defensive. Please? Yeah! Yeah! We're through to the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. Uh, well done, last. Sure, that was a great win. And, uh, yeah. Where's the... Who else? Everton, City. Oh, Chelsea are out. I guess that's a good thing. But <sighs> what a what a bloody match that was. Um, when's the draw going to be for that? Probably. Who on earth knows? So um, yeah, everything is just screwed up completely because of the World Cup thing. So um, who knows what's going to happen there? Uh, oh, it's actually the semi-final is actually very soon. But yeah, who cares about the Carabao Cup? Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure when we're going to come back and play on for a little bit. There's some interesting fixtures coming up. Of course, we're going to show the Atletico Madrid match. And yeah, we shall see. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this particular episode, then, well, it's sat Saturday today. But yeah, I'll, I'll upload again on Monday and then all of next week I'm going to upload. So um, yeah, for people in the future, just whatever, right? But <clears throat> yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah. See you soon for some more Danish Dynamite.